We're in the center of Des Moines. This building was constructed roughly 1930, and this is a very unique facility. It's a school for special needs children with some very unique architecture that uh, kind of proposed a lot of challenges from a renovation standpoint for a heating and cooling system. As a school district, we're in the midst of a renovation project to replace existing outdated systems with new modern efficient systems. You know, with the architecture of this building and it's on the historical registry, you know, we needed to look for a solution that wasn't very evasive into the spaces. When we looked at systems, the LG system lended itself very, very well uh, for this type of project. The refrigerant lines allow us to run the smaller piping in locations where you just couldn't run hydronic piping or chilled water piping. VRF lends itself very well to a retrofit application because there's lots of flexibility in how the system can be put together. A lot less demolition work goes into putting a VRF system in. You're able to hook on to some existing duct systems in some cases or remove duct work from the equation altogether, which can be a big cost savings in the, in the long term of the project. Honestly, it just isn't constructed to be air conditioned. It never was constructed to be air conditioned. So to go into these old historic buildings like this, you gotta be real conscious of where you put stuff. And the VRF systems are, are very small and compact, and they allow us to tuck units in unique places. The center of the building has a unique atrium that has a wheelchair ramp that runs all the way around it. The system's located up in the attic, and we're delivering air through some old openings up at the top of the atrium uh, to condition it before there was no, no air conditioning or anything in that space. So I, I like to refer to this room as the Hogwarts room, and rooms like this, they've really preserved some of the older technology specifically to this room. We are able to use the existing casework and place some of the LG floor-mounted console units into that existing casework. For all practical purposes, it's invisible and it's not a distraction to the environment. The real difference is in, in this facility is they have the ability to have temperature control in each individual space. You know, we're able to deliver a, you know, a consistent temperature season to season and not have the fluctuations from fighting the steam system to the air conditioning system. You know, now the, the system has the ability that one room, if it needs heat today, it, it can have heat. If the other room needs air conditioning, the system is able to balance the load across the building to allow us to heat and cool at the same time. The way we're exchanging and absorbing and rejecting heat is through uh, water. We've got a central plant located in the adjacent school with a cooling tower and a boiler. Brings it over to the building and then we've got water-cooled condensing units that sit in the basement. The water-cooled condensing units are piped up to different areas and zones. We've got ducted units in some classrooms, ceiling cassette units in some areas. There's a few floor console units that, that sit throughout the school. The, the LG systems are inherently very, very quiet and uh, that played a very important part in this building. You know, some of the kids are very sensitive to vibration, sensitive to noise, sensitive to light and the VRS systems are so quiet you, you can't even tell that they're there. The Des Moines School District monitors and, and basically controls all their buildings from a central location and the LG system via the BACnet controllers has the ability to talk to their system. Down in Des Moines they could pull up the screens from the LG system, see what's going on, they can control temperatures. You know, it's definitely way more efficient than we used to be. You know, we've seen, you know, significant reductions in utility costs and operational costs for the building. The systems cut their energy bills in half almost over, over what they had previously. That's why the VRF system was chosen, because of the adaptability, the quick installation, and bring a system all the way down to the ground and then back up as new within three months is pretty amazing.